Hi there, welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how best we can encrypt our managed disks which are as attached to your virtual machines. It's really important that you must have to encrypt your disks because these disks are stored somewhere within your Microsoft infrastructure. What if Microsoft infrastructure itself is compromised? might not happen definitely but who knows just you know from our security point of view we need to encrypt all the data that is already available so what we can do is we can enable BitLocker to encrypt the entire disk so for the Windows machines that's what we can do and if it is Linux machines you can go for DM hyphen crypt uh, which is a Linux distributors who are going to use these kind of you know, encryptions so within this demo what I'm going to do is if you see here I have a plain virtual machine which I have created when I was creating I do get you know option called SSE with BMK so I don't want that to happen that means you know uh, at the encryption is happening at the client side which is from the Microsoft side but what I wanted is I wanted it should happen with my own secrets with my own keys so for that what I'm gonna do is I would be actually creating a key vault service and then I'm gonna store my virtual machine if you see here th there are two disks which are there uh, I did attach it as an e-drive and if I just click on the manage disk and go to encryption you can see here the default one which I have selected was while creating the virtual machine is the encryption at the rest with the platform managed key that is really managed by the Microsoft Azure and not by us so it's a default so what we wanted is we wanted it should uh, it should manage by customer that means we need to encrypt with our own secret key so that it's more secure than the Microsoft so if I want to change it I definitely do not have the secret uh, encryption key at my own place so what I can do is I can actually uh, create as your key vault service and then I can attach here for doing this what I'm gonna do is I'll show you, you know how to create uh, here my key vault services so opposed to that uh, within the extensions I would be actually getting here disk encryption key specific extension also gonna come up so I'm gonna show you that uh, end of this uh, demo uh, what I'm gonna get it as additional when we go for the disk encryption so for now what I'm gonna do is I'll just quickly go and install my uh, go and configure and uh, set it up my key vault services so search for the key vault services if you're quite new to the key vault services I have done couple of demos not just in one demo because key vault is very important uh, in order to secure your other Azure resources and uh, we did uh, talk a lot in different lectures about the key vault and this is just to you know integrate the key vault services to encrypt your disks for your virtual machines that's what I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna create a key vault here as a standard key vault service so I'll just click on that and I'm gonna choose my resource group disk encryption and then I'm gonna give a name of my key vault so that's the uh, name which I wanted to give it let's say uh, encrypt maybe a disk specific one and then I'm gonna uh, put strict to ECS and the tile is a standard tile and the data it's gonna uh, delete uh, after 90 days till that time it's gonna actually save it and this is very very important that if you are choosing here uh, for the disk encryption you must have to select this option and if you are trying to deploy your virtual machines from ARM template in fact we have done a demo um, if you look at you know another lecture there are a demo with respect to the key vault services so you can deploy the virtual machine the user ID and the password can be you know stored within your ARM template within that situation you should be actually choosing this checkbox so the importance of this uh, enabling these checkboxes you are actually enabling the access policy for your key vault in this is going to be additional layer of protection for you so in our case uh, I'm gonna actually as your disk and en encryption gonna enable and also the ARM and also the virtual machine deployment uh, 
with directly from the Azure Key Vault services. So I'm going to take these three things here and coming back to the policy, we have an option to create a policies where with respect of the key selected password policies can be configured. Within this, uh, if you are logged on into your Azure portal and you aren't going to deploy, so that specific user should have the specific key permission. So in my case, I'm going to uh, take it even uh, decrypt a specific uh, permissions also uh, and also for the backup and recovery delete import create all that so I have selected all of that 16 permissions key permissions uh, which I can use it so I'm gonna click on next so if you want to know secure definitely the key vault you might have you know already learned in the keyword lecture if this key vault only should you know work on a specific private node or maybe specific selected vnets or it should be available publicly for all the networks you can choose it you can limit basically your key vault service so in my case I'm just choosing the public that doesn't matter for me for this demo but you can design it actually and once you review the tags and the creation you can click on create so that it's going to create your key vault service we'll fast forward this video in order to create this so key vault service code created and within the key vault services if you see secrets or keys nothing is there and uh, you can check out you know there's no keys there's no secrets so post to that you know you would be you know, getting here a secret which is related to the disk encryption which you would be you know, getting it later point and also the access policy this is where you can actually configure if you want and also you can choose later point if you want to change anything you can do it from the access policy for the networking again you can choose either public or whatever the networks and the most important here uh, would be the access policy this is very important because for this demo you need to you know configure your disk encryption volumes and later point the key vault uri so the this is the URI which is very important. So I'm going to copy this specific URI because um, if we want to you know, say that, hey, you go and store the keys. So we are actually giving the key vault URI. So that, that's why it's very important. So later point, I'm going to actually open up a PowerShell um, from the Cloud Shell. And uh, if you see here uh, within the shell, actually, I'm going to execute two different commands which are important in this case. The the first one would be the storing the key vaults uh, value that's a key vault I'm gonna define here my key vault so I'm gonna getting the key vault name called this is a key vault name right and then the resource group this is the resource group where it is exist so I have just given all these values and this is what does and here the resource group name that's it it's gonna uh, store that key vault specific value and the second last command which I'm going to use would be the setting the Azure Disk Encryption of where my disk encryption is the resource group exist and my VM. So what I have to do is to set this disk encryption. I need to specify my resource group where my VM is there and what's the VM name your VM01. I'm going to say that hey you go ahead and do the disk encryption key vault with the key vault value which is the URI which was uh, saved as this URI value and then disk encryption uh, vault ID so this is where it's gonna uh, create under secrets a specific value so it's gonna ask me hey if you're doing this it's gonna reboot the virtual machine are you okay with that yeah definitely because uh, we are talking about the disk encryption so it definitely needs to be rebooted so it's gonna reboot in a minute or so I'll pass this video for a minute or so to get this entire encryption to be happen in the back end along with the reboot and now if you see here it's uh, encryption is successful and uh, that indicates that this disk is secure so what does it mean you cannot attach this disk to another virtual machine and boot up because now the operating system and the disk and the logic in the behind is completely um, has a separate pattern uh, and that's gonna you know secure your booting and your entire disk information also whatever the contents inside of your disk so that's very important uh, here 
to understand so let's uh, you know minimize this cloud shell and go to uh, let me first you know maybe refresh this browser uh, so that I can click on the secrets to show you you know kind of a secret key it has uh, created so let me click on secrets and you see here this is a secret and the BEK that's a bit locker encryption key and this is enabled at this point of time and we can copy that secret identifier if you want if you want to see the secret value what was created by BitLocker you can have a view of hide secret view to unhide and uh, that's it so it got created for us it looks good and uh, let's go to the virtual machine and see so let me go to the resource group and click on that VM01 and the major difference if you might have noticed earlier it was just uh, SSE with BMK now SSE with BMK and AD so let me go back to the extension extensions you have as your disk encryption which was already installed and in the back end it is actually paired up with the key vault services so that's how you are actually encrypting your disk i hope this entire lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this